Is this man lying to you? No. Is he pulling the wool over your eyes? No. Is he really who he says he is? <laughs> I guess so. Probably. Bourbon Moth Woodworking is a YouTube channel with almost 1 million subscribers, featuring Jason Hibbs, a mild-mannered jokester dad from Oregon whose unassuming public persona hides something that may shock you. Or maybe not. Today we're going to look at a video from Bourbon Moth Woodworking, and this guy is hilarious. His name is Jason. So we're going to watch this video called Five Easy Woodworking Projects, One Day Build Ideas. This sounds like right up our alley. Okay, so let's see. This video was sponsored by Noom. Noom should sponsor us. Ooh, look at that. If you have sophisticated friends and you want to make them something dashing, do we have well, sophisticated a friends? Is a really cool yeah. gift because it's easy to make and it looks fancy as all get out. I literally made this in half a day. It's not hard, and I'm going to show you how to make it right now. I think we should build that. I think that's a great project. Yeah. Uh, I think it's something we can maybe do. I don't know if it'll look as good as his. Oh, you poor girl. She had no idea what was ahead. The project calls for maple and black walnut, but we don't have that. What we do have is some mesquite that most people would probably just use for firewood, but it's what we have. So we're going to start by cutting it up on the bandsaw, going over to the jointer, and then cutting up some strips on the table saw before finally sending them through the planer with this interesting setup with Clint. I know you're thinking this is probably dangerous. I'm just going to say nobody died. My plan was to contrast the mesquite with some oak, but as you can see, they're pretty much the same color. So I knew that wouldn't work. I thought, what do I have? Because I'm not going to the store. Obviously, I use scraps from 2x4s. Not that that's the best choice, but it didn't cost me anything. The next step is to glue the strips together into one piece. Now, I'll say this. Jason's work is clearly better, but my shop assistants are way cuter. I ended up gluing these strips into two boards instead of just one so we could still use the planer and then we left it to dry overnight. The next day, I took off most of the extra glue with my block plane, and then I sent it through the planer. Now, if you struggle with snipe on your planer like I do, here's a good trick. If you send some small piece through and then immediately follow it with your work piece, then at the back end, send another small piece through, it'll take care of that snipe for you. You do have to be just a little bit athletic and make sure you set up your work well. We're almost caught up with the Bourbon Moth Woodworking Project. I just have to glue up these two pieces and then sleep. I literally made this in half a day. It's not hard. The next step is sending the whole work piece through a drum sander. Now I actually have one of those, but mine is homemade. I threw it together from parts I found lying around including some pieces from tractor implements and even some parts and a motor I got out of an old evaporative cooler. I don't know if you've figured this out about me yet, but I'm cheap. Next, it was time to square off the ends. Now, here's how they did it. I tried a lot of ways. I tried a miter saw, but realized that I couldn't even cut halfway through the board with it. Then I went to the bandsaw and realized my bandsaw isn't big enough to accommodate a board this large. I can't use the fence. So then I remembered, I have a table saw sled, but it's not big enough. <sighs> I finally went back to the bandsaw and just did my best to get a straight line. Then I went back over to the joiner and started checking it against a square and then taking off whatever part was just a little bit too long. I did, unfortunately, get a little tear out in this, but I mean, at this point, do we really care? The plan for the chessboard calls for a plywood base. Now it's supposed to come a little bit later in the build, but we needed some help getting our pieces to hold together and we're going to fill up all the gaps with epoxy anyway. 
Unfortunately, at this point, my camera shut down, but you can watch Jason do this part. Ours is pretty much the same. Ooh, look at that. No, don't look at that. Look at that. We were so excited to see it finally start to look like a chessboard. Now, it looks like it's coming together now, but what we didn't know is that some of our biggest challenges were still ahead of us. I literally made this in half a day, half a day, half a day, half a day. Next is trimming the edges, which is supposed to be done with a router table, but I don't have a router table, so I did my best to get it done at the table saw and then finish up on the joiner. Then he goes to his drum sander, and I go to mine. I still like mine better. This next part is not part of the original build. See, my mesquite had wormholes all through it, and so, like any good YouTuber, I'm going to fill it with epoxy. Next we add edges to the board. The original project uses laminated maple and walnut, and we use pieces of a 2x4. We took those pieces and we glued them onto the chessboard, and then we had to wait for the glue to dry, so that was another day. With all these nightmares, I'm starting to get a little bit groggy. But when you're a dad, you're not allowed to be groggy. And besides, it was time to pour the epoxy. <laughs> what do you think? Believe it or not, you're not watching Black Tail Studios with Cam. Yep, that was all us. After a little bit of sanding, okay, after a lot of sanding, it really did look better. At this point, Okay, I'll admit it. I'm starting to get a little bit discouraged, and so I'm forgetting to work a little bit into the process. That's a hard thing when you work with kids because you know it's a lot easier if you do it yourself, but really, we're trying to spend time together, and that's important. Do I regret doing this project? No way. But the next morning, I'm going to have my doubts. I don't know how it happened. But for whatever reason, it didn't cure. So there was nothing left to do but get a towel, wipe the uncured resin off, and do it again. There's one more day lost. If you're too lazy and can't find the motivation within yourself to get up off the couch and go make something for your significant other, well, that's okay. You can just get on our website. We got a whole bunch of new merchandise, t-shirts. No! If anybody in this family is gonna get Bourbon Moth Woodworking merchandise, it's going to be me. We're gonna finish this if it's the last project we ever do. Uh, but I hope it's not. We're finally done. <laughs> what do you think of your chessboard? I think it's chess. Touch it. Ooh, it's so nice. nice. Is it as pretty as the one that they made in the video? Prettier. Prettier? I disagree, but it's gonna work great. Hi, so man. let's go play some chess. You know, now that I've had a little bit of time with it, I have to admit, it's not half bad. And it's something that the girls can keep for all their lives and remember the project that we did together and enjoy playing games, usually. So is Jason from Bourbon Moth Woodworking a liar? Well, no, but he may not be who you think he is. 
See, if you've got this picture in your head that this guy is just some bumbling dad that just jokes around in his workshop and makes mistakes along the way, listen, he is a consummate professional. He's been doing this since 2004 and it shows in all his work and all his videos. I have the most profound respect for this man as a YouTuber and as a woodworker. Jason, please keep it up and thanks for inspiring all of us little guys to do what we do.